Hey guys, Stealth here. I'm going to be starting a new Stealthcast today. Just download this game off Steam, for free mind you, called uh, Alien Breed 2 Assault. I have no idea what it's about. Um, if you don't know, Steam has a big old sale going on right now. You can earn these tickets, get prizes. This is one of the prizes, so got it for free. Figured I'd try it out. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into, so let's see what happens. Um, I guess we're gonna go single player, story mode, new game. Uh, let's go on veteran, sure. I have no idea what I'm doing, but figure it out. Like the comic book style so far. It seems we collided with a massive vessel as we dropped out of hyperspace. One much larger than the Leopold. Sensors are picking up signs of life forms on board. Slimy hostile ones by any chance? Probably. We're entering the planet's atmosphere now. At our current rate of decay, I calculate we have roughly six hours before we impact the surface. Ah, oh, that's not good. Without the mainframe online, the Leopold's engines are just scrap metal. Get them online and get to engine control. Hence in Vance at your service. This man claims his name is Thaddeus Barnes. Is this guy from the deep south? I saved your life. Status report. Engines online. Mia, shut it down. It's gonna blow! Oh no! Did we live? What the hell happened? I have no idea, but it is safe to say that the Leopold's computer is no longer reliable. As I see it, our only option is boarding the other vessel through that breach in hydroponics and trying to jiggle its engines online. I'm pretty sure it said get its engines online, not jiggle. We'll come find you. Ready sure didn't say jiggle. Are the core systems intact? Let's find out. Oh boy. This isn't gonna be good. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it's just I'll hang on my phone right now. You can hold on, giant alien. This guy's going kind of existential. Alright, can I play now? Alright, WASD, melee, interact, um, next item, fire weapon, rotate left, rotate right, uh, let's see what happens. I wonder if this is a first person, or top down, or what? No, it's a shooter so far. I hope I'm not supposed to know what I'm doing. Alright. Okay, this is going to play like Alien Swarm. Which is convenient. Dark halls, flashing lights. I don't really like these controls so far, personally. Uh, space to interact with stuff, I suppose. Don't know really anything I can interact with. Oh, okay. I can turn the camera. Oh, this is some weird control. I'm gonna take some getting used to. As you can see, I am a complete noob. What's this? Can I interact with that? I don't think I want to go in there, anyways. What is this? I shouldn't waste ammo on it. Okay, I literally have no idea what I can do right now. Systems malfunctioning. So I can't go in there. Uh, pistol. It changes my weapons there. Can I shoot this thing? I can't shoot that thing. 
Did I get anything? Any loot? Come on. Give me some loot. I need something here. Tell me what to do. Ooh, this looks interesting. Press and hold spacebar to interact with objects. Okay, I can also turn the camera by doing that. Taking the mouse to the side will turn the camera too, which I'm not sure I'm a fan of, honestly. Yay! Wait, how was I supposed to go down there? Systems offline. Yay! It's even darker now. Oh God! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> be careful! The ship seems to be very, very unstable. Really? Didn't notice. Oh God! What is that? Oh, come on. Oh, I see. I see where I'm supposed to be going here. No, no, actually, I don't see where I'm supposed to be going here. What the fuck is going on? I have to interact with this again? Emergency systems activated. Oh. Power systems normal. That is a weird energy producer thingy you got there. Activate the door controls. Got it. Systems activated. Door online. <laughs> door open. I think I could melee too with the control. Friend, I can't melee those. Okay, okay, just get a little, a little overzealous here. Like the dark darkness. Uh, use must name weapon. Left click to fire. That means some enemies are coming. Zerglings. Okay, maybe not. A little small for zerglings. Ah, <laughs> oh, this these controls are horrible. Emergency systems activated. What's the little piston generator thing? Just oh. Breaker fuse malfunction. Wow, that was one hell of a fuse. Just exploded. Uh, wall? Invisible wall there? Okay. Move the aiming aim cursor to the left and right, and the screen will rotate. Oh, I use Q and E. Yeah, I kind of figured that out already. Luckily, that guy wasn't too worried about attacking me. He just wants to wants to chill out there, I suppose. Access valve. Oh, I don't think I want to really go down there. Access valve opened. Why does every alien game or dark scary game type thing have to have, like, a tunnel? Credits. Hey, people just leave money around here. Breaker fuse. Anything else down here I can use? Don't look like it. Back up here. I don't know, the camera's kinda cool. But... I don't know. Oh god. Come on, you. It's gonna take some getting used to either way. Emergency systems activated. Alright, so hopefully this fuse doesn't completely explode. Power systems, normal. Normally fuses don't explode into a fiery... Fiery... Fireball? Yeah, that kind of thing. Control room keycard. What is this, Doom? Oh, God. Freaking Hydralisks. This makes me miss Alien Swarm. It was a really good game. Security level authorized. Unfortunately, they just stopped producing levels for it. The whole point was you download the game and you know you get extra levels later on because it was a pretty short game. 
similar to this, but multiplayer, really good. Hey, a log. Press enter to access PDA and read logs. Enter! Uh, okay. I guess I got a map here. Cooling pools. I don't, that might be my objective. Inventory. Items. Uh, I don't see. Logs. Here we go. Reface. <coughs> On 10 November, Galactic Standard, at 3.31 a.m. ship time, the Terran diplomatic vessel UCS Leopard is returning home when, without warning, it prematurely emerges from hyperspace and collides at near light speed with an unknown foreign object. Foreign structure orbiting an unnamed ice planet ringed by a deadly asteroid bat belt. Holy crap, buddy, use commas. Over half of the Leopard's crew of 400 are killed in the impact. Wow, that'd be one hell of an impact. Of course, I guess it is at light speed. Engines dead in the ship's mainframe, suddenly displaying erratic behavior. The Leopard, fused inex inextricably to the larger craft, is now on a slowly decaying orbit above the ice planet. Unless something is done, both ships will strike the surface in massive velocity within six hours. Conrad, the Leopard's laconic chief engineer. I'm horrible at reading, just so you know. I mean, I shouldn't be. I'm a well, you know, educated man. But there's just some words I've just never freaking seen before. Laconic? Don't know it. Anyways. is informed by the female synthetic executive officer, Lieutenant Mia, that according to the sensory data, the space hulk they've struck is over 200 years old. And old and, comma, though of human manufacture, is unidentifiable and teeming with hostile alien hordes, some of which have already boarded the Leopard and begun feasting on wounded crew members. With the ship's computer currently offline, Mia instructs Conrad to make his way to the Leopard's engine room in a desperate attempt to raise sufficient power to wobble the ship loose. Conrad battles his way- okay, this is gonna go on forever. You know what? Yeah. Screw it. I was gonna, you know, do some cool voices, make you guys get the story good, but yeah, that's just ridiculous. This isn't, you know, let's read, this is a let's play. <laughs>